We're going to take a look at a genuine U.S. government MRE. This one is made by Sapaco, and it has the U.S. government property commercial resale is unlawful warning on it. This is menu number nine, beef stew. And this has a date code on it of 1299, meaning it was packaged on the 299th day of 2011. So this is a five-year-old MRE. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. Here's our entree, beef stew. Here's the ingredients if you want to look at those. And the nutrition facts if you want to look at those. And so I have, oh, I haven't had this before, apple turnover. That's interesting. And uh, a wheat snack bread with apple jelly. I'm oh, sorry, we have uh, wheat snack bread with apple jelly and peanut butter. So we're going to have peanut butter and jelly for that one. A chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. That was going to be the plain one, but I'm getting that instead. MRE spoon, a beverage bag, flameless ration heater, and then accessory pack. Looks like accessory pack B. This has a drink in it too. This one's not going to have coffee. It's not a lot in here, but we have a raspberry beverage based powder. This is the kind in the little tube that can go into a uh, bottle of water. A uh, little sachet of Tabasco sauce. Salt. Moist towelette. Toilet paper. And chewing gum. No coffee and no matches in this one. All right, so we're not getting a ton of food in this one. Uh, I guess the apple turnover, which for some reason it kind of seems more like a breakfast item, but I guess it could be any kind of a dessert. I guess that's kind of acting as the side. Well, there really isn't a clear side in here because I wouldn't really call wheat snack bread the side, but the apple turnover seems more like a dessert. But overall, it's looking pretty good. Now let's get this out on a tray. Nice. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and heat up the beef stew and check out what else we have. Once again, here's the ingredients on the beef stew and the nutrition facts if anybody wants to see those. This one has a date code on it of 1263. So this was uh, produced about a month or so before the MRE was packed. See how this five-year-old heater holds up. Really kind of hit or miss when they get a little bit old. Sometimes they're just fine. Sometimes they can use a little boost from some salt. Sometimes they don't work at all. And let's try this one out as is first. I can hear it activating already. Get some water into most of the heating elements. Actually, they're all soaked pretty good. Yeah, get, get some heat starting. Oh, yeah, it's getting hot really quick. Looks like it's going to be a good one. And since this is an older one, we still have the box. We can put that right in there. And rest the whole thing at an angle on a rock or something. And since we don't have any clear hot beverages, like a coffee, uh, the chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder is obviously something that you could have either hot or cold. I usually do have these cold, but since it does come in this nice bag, and since you don't have anything else hot to drink, I'm going to go ahead and add the six ounces of water to this. Zip it up. Give it a good shake. And just slip that right into the... Actually, I'm going to take out some of the air first. And slip that right into the uh, box on the other side of the entree. So it's in contact with the heater. And we'll let that get heated up a little bit too. And 
And another interesting thing about this meal is since we do have the uh, cocoa beverage powder in the contour pouch, and since the cold drink is in one of these little sleeves here that you can just put right into a bottle of water, it means we're not really going to need the hot beverage bag. And as people have probably noticed, I'm a pretty big fan of hot beverage bags, so it's nice to be able to put one to the side and save it for another use. Obviously, if you don't have a bottle of water, you could uh, mix it up in here too. Let's check out the apple turnover. As I said, this is something I've never had before. It's pretty moist for a. Uh, I've been in there for five years. It's an interesting smell to it. It's kind of a uh, apple cinnamon, but also a bit chemical. It's pretty sticky and slimy too. And then we have our wheat snack bread. which uh, hasn't really survived the uh, five years quite as well. It's pretty uh, it's pretty stiff. I mean, it's sweet snack bread, but it could be a little bit, uh, a little bit softer. And on that, we're gonna add peanut butter and apple jelly. Obviously you can mix these together, but I'm just going to have them separate so I can try them both. And I guess that's really all there really is to eat. So we get our bottle of water. This is supposed to take uh, 20 ounces. This is a 16.9 ounce bottle, and I've uh, had a little bit to make a little bit of room. So it's going to be a little bit on the uh, strong side, but that's kind of the way I like it, so that's okay. If I didn't mention, this is raspberry beverage base powder. I'll give that a good shake. And it's got a uh, nice dark color as uh, I had a little bit less water than it recommends. About three or four ounces less. But it'll make for uh, a good look in the video, I think, if nothing else. It smells pretty good. It's different. You're used to getting the uh, orange drinks and the tropical punch drinks and the grape drinks. So uh, raspberry is a, a little bit of a different thing for an MRE. So it's always good to get something different. All right. And since there's enough room on the tray, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this spot for the uh, hazelnut cocoa beverage. Uh, and that flame expression heater started off really good, but then it kind of it kind of petered out after a couple of minutes. So this is. Uh, Instead of hot, it's kind of lukewarm. I'll give it one last shake too. And that just leaves us with our beef stew. Let's see. You know what? Yeah, there's a good amount of heat in there. I guess it's just the way I put the uh, cocoa beverage bag in there and didn't really give it that much time to heat up. But there's definitely a lot of heat coming off this five-year-old uh, ration heater. So, that's good. Just to show you, the, the old ones kind of work just fine. And there seems to be a good, if not great, amount of heat in the uh, retort pouch. Definitely a lot hotter at the bottom than the top, so I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit. So at least it's all warm even if not hot. And let's see how the five-year-old beef stew is. Looks good. It smells really good. Right, and then you have your eight ounces of beef stew. I recently did a review of um, an O'Meal's vegetable stew with beef, which I believe is going to be quite similar to this. I'll put a link to that below if you want to check that out. Yeah, he's got a good amount of beef chunks in here. 
doesn't seem to be overly processed. It seems like it's actual chunks of beef. And uh, we have the uh, the gravy. It's pretty thick. Obviously, you can kind of see it's a little congealed because it didn't really get all that hot. Um, but it's a uh, it's a thick, hearty kind of a thing. Let me see. We have uh, peas. We have little uh, potato chunks. Looks like this carrots. Uh, it's your standard canned beef stew, like you'd get from a uh, Hormel or a uh, Dinty Moore or something like that. Now we'll give it a try. Yeah, very good. Could definitely use some more heat, but the point of being ready to eat is you can just eat this right out of the pouch whenever, wherever. So, um, you can't fault it for being cold. That's obviously up to me to make it hotter. I could have put it in boiling water to make sure it was really hot. But, um, even for being cold, it's still, it's still very edible. And this is, of course, you can remember five years old, too. It is indeed pretty similar to the, uh, what I got with the, um, the oatmeal's one. I don't feel like I could give it a direct comparison because the oatmeal's one was from within the last couple of months and this is five years old. But overall, the taste is very similar. And of course, it's no surprise. I mean, the taste is basically what you would expect from a, uh, a canned beef stew because that's more or less pretty much what it is. So obviously, we have a pretty simple meal here. It's a classic, hearty comfort food. And um, it kind of seems to make sense to keep it simple after that. You know, you have this turnover and you have your wheat snack bread with a couple things on it, and that's really all there is to eat in here. I'm not going to add the salt because it's beef stew and it's really salty anyway. And considering the fact that it does have 32% of your daily allowance of salt, it's actually a good thing. I mean, if it's going to have that much salt in it, you might as well taste it. I've had quite a few entrees that uh, they have tons of salt in them, yet somehow they still taste pretty bland. So at least with this one, it does earn its salt content. But we will go ahead and try out with a little bit of uh, Tabasco on there. If uh, plain old beef stew isn't enough for somebody. I can smell it from here. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I've said before, I'm not really a huge fan of really spicy stuff. Uh, I think it's it's definitely a great option to have to kick things up when they're when they are bland. But since this one had plenty of flavor, I don't think it really needs the hot sauce. But let's go ahead and try it with it. Yeah, it gives it a whole whole different dimension. It definitely adds something to it. As I said, if uh, if it was more bland, I would definitely say go ahead and do this, but uh, with something that has this much flavor, other than not having the spice, it really doesn't seem like it needs it. I'll go ahead and try the apple turnover. And this is one uh, mistake that I made. Instead of putting the uh, hazelnut cocoa beverage into the uh, flameless ration heater, I probably should have slipped this in there and warmed it up. That would have been a good idea. But I didn't. So let's see what we have. And you can see it is, a, it is stuffed with that apple filling. Looks like a, an apple pie kind of a, like a store-bought apple pie kind of a filling. And you can see the uh, bread has um, the cinnamon flecked all through it. And that's good. I'm going to say it probably would be even better heated up. I really wish I had thought to do that, but even without you can kind of get an idea of what this MRE would be like if you didn't have any way to heat it, if you're just eating it on the go, and everything so far has been just fine. Yeah, that's really good. Give me another look at the uh, inside there. Seems like we'd find in a, like a hostess apple pie, something like that. It's very good. I'll try the hazelnut cocoa beverage powder drink. And that's really good. I've always liked the um, just the plain cocoa beverage powder. It's one of the simplest things. It's a classic that's been in the MREs since they first came out in the early 1980s. And before that, they were in C rations. And I think they were in rations even before that. Just a very simple thing, a cocoa beverage powder. And it's always been a good thing. So the addition of the hazelnut only improves it even more. Let's try the sweet snack bread with the peanut butter and apple jelly. They said that the wheat snack bread seems like it's showing its age. 
probably more than anything else in this meal. Wheat snack bread has never been a particularly soft, fluffy, really bread-like kind of a thing, but this is extra, extra hard. It's, uh, it seems even more dense than usual. It almost, uh, as much as you can say it about a wheat snack bread, it almost seems stale. It's still edible, despite the fact that it's called a snack bread. I wouldn't want to eat this on its own as a snack, but luckily we have toppings on it. And not surprisingly, the peanut butter, despite being five years old, makes it a lot better to snack on. Of course, it's also, uh, it's also very dry. In conjunction with the uh, dry bread, it really does make you thirsty. And the apple jelly, somewhat less so. So we have two apple things in here. We have the apple turnover and the apple jelly. And that's good. It's, it's nice from the, the, the standard uh, grape, grape jelly. But despite the seeming age issues with the wheat snack bread, the peanut butter and jelly are both really good. And that just leaves us with our raspberry beverage, which as I said is going to be a little bit strong because I had uh, about 16 ounces instead of 20 ounces of water. Oh, that's really good. And like I said, if nothing else, simply because of the fact that it's different. It's so much more common to see the orange and the uh, tropical punch and the grape. And since we're speaking of the beverages, one last thing I did want to mention too was that the uh, these little um, pouches that they put in the accessory pack for the 20 ounce bottles, it's just kind of funny that the regular ones, which come in a couple different sizes, but they are both for the same amount of uh, drink, these are both for 12 ounces of drink. This one obviously you have to mix in something else. This one, even though it's not a zip top pouch, you can conceivably mix it up in here. It tends to be pretty messy. It's not the first choice, but you have these bigger pouches for 12 ounces, and you have this little teeny one here for 20 ounces. Just a little observation. That was a look at a menu number nine, Beef Stew MRE, from 2011. Thank you for watching. But we will... Really.